the Mr. B Trucking Institute. At this institute, we find solutions, not excuses. Section two, systems, 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 okay? So, section two. We completed section one, the front of the truck, the engine, and an axle. Now we're moving to section two. The system, my system, I start with my door. Property mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. It opens, it closes properly. I'm gonna open it up. I'm checking my seal around my door, making sure my seal is not dry rotted, not damaged. It's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. I'm checking the hinges on the door to make sure my hinges are properly mounted and secure, all hardware is present. And one thing you can do to check to make sure the hinges on the door are good, are good you can just pull up on the door right there. Those hinges are good. My door is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. I have my steps right here. I'm gonna make sure that my steps are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present free of oil and debris. This is my death fuel. I'm gonna check my death fuel tank to make sure it's properly mounted and secured. The cap opens properly. I should have no less than an eighth of death fuel in the tank. It's properly mounted and secured, and I'm looking for leaks. There are no leaks. Death tank is good. This is my diesel fuel tank, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. I'm stepping back to make sure I see no leaks, okay? These are my saddle tra straps, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My rubber seal is in place. No dry rot, there is no metal to metal touching, okay? I'm opening up my cap to make sure it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My safety chain is here, and I have a rubber seal around. It's not dry rotted, not dam damaged. And that cap opens and closes properly. All right. So my fuel tank is good. All right. I would treat this door the same way I would treat this door. I would treat these steps the same way I treat those steps to make sure it's properly mounted and secure, not cracked, mental, broken. No oil, no debris. My door is properly mounted and secured. All right. So as we come around here to the back of the truck, meow. This is the catwalk. Oh. I know that was really corny. But this is what they call it, <laughs> a catwalk. And the catwalk is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present. I'm checking my catwalk to make sure it's free of oil and free of debris, all right? And I'm looking right here at my frame. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No unauthorized well, all hardware is present. Okay, this is my drive shaft, making sure it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present. I have my universal joint right here. It's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present and it's free of debris. Here I have my exhaust system. Okay, it's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. I'm looking all the way down to make sure I see no running soot that would indicate leaks on my exhaust system. My exhaust system is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. That's the exhaust system. All right. So, after I'm done with my exhaust, what is this thing right here? This is a splash guard, okay? Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present, okay? Now, with these tires, I'm gonna do this axle. So, the only difference between these tires and the tires up front is the depth. The depth on the tires back here on the tractor can be no less than 232, and they can be recapped and regrooved. That's the depth, okay? I'm gonna check the tires for condition to make sure there is no missing chunks or they're not cut, damaged, or dry rotted. My tires are good, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. And I'm gonna move to the rim to make sure my rim 
has no unauthorized wells, property mountain that's secured, not been cracked or broken. I have my lug nuts, property mountain that's secured, not cracked, been or broken. I'm checking them for rust or running rust or shiny threads that would indicate looseness. My lug nuts are good. I have a hub's axle seal right here, property mountain that's secured, not cracked, been or broken. That seal has liquid in it, so guess what? I'm looking to make sure I see no leaks and my inflation. Valve stem, property mounted secure, not cracked, been or broken, the cap is on, and I would check this cap and check the inflation of this tire to make sure this that it's at the manufacturer's specifications, okay? So that tire sound a lot like that tire other than the depth, okay? Now, something else is different. These are tandem tires, tandem two, so there is bud spacing here. We want to make sure that those tires are butted up together and that there is no debris, no debris here. Now, you find on your pre-trip, you're repeating things because the braking system back here is the same as the braking system up front. Guess what? I have brake drums properly mounted and secured not cracked, bent, or broken. They're free of oil and debris. I have brake pads. My brake pads are not dangerously worn thin, free of oil and debris. Sound like the same stuff up front, huh? Think about it. Back here, I have brake chamber, same way up there, proper mount and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. I hear no leaks, and I have a clamp property mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, that's wrapped, that's around the brake chamber. I have a slack adjuster, property mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, I will release the brakes. Sound familiar, huh? I will release the brakes with the truck chalk, pull on the slack adjuster, and make sure I have no more than what? One inch of play on the what? Push rod. There you go. So everything is repeating. I have brake hoses back here not dry rotted, not damaged. I hear no leaks. Hmm, see how everything's repeating? Now that big mountain is getting small, you're climbing up it because things are repeating. It's the same stuff back here. Now, we talked about the entire braking system. That's the same up there on the, that axle is this axle. Now, let's talk about the suspension system. It's a little different. Okay, because I have front spring hangers, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, all hardware is present. I have leaf springs, just like up there. Leaf springs, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing or damaged or shifted. I have U-boats, the same way up there. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. My U-boats are present. They looking good. But my shock absorber, shock absorber right here, the same way the shocks up there, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present. Liquid is in these things, so guess what? I'm gonna make sure I see no leaks. Now this is where it gets a little different back here because instead of the rear spring hanger, guess what I have right here? Air bellow, or you can call it an airbag. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, metal broken. I hear no leaks, all the hardware is present. It's not dry rotted or damaged. And that's the suspension system back here. So think about the system. You're repeating a lot of things. Now that big mountain of a pre-trip, wow, it's not that difficult because out of all those parts, you're repeating a lot of those parts over and over again. So let's continue. I knocked out my tires. Again, remember back here, the only thing that's a little different is no less than 232 can be recapped and regrooved and the bud space. Brakes are pretty much the same. Suspension is pretty much the same, except for the air bellow and um, the hardware involved with um, that. And now, let's continue. We have here, you know what that is? If this tire is spinning and it's throwing up mud, guess what this? This is a mud flap. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. All hardware is present. And back here, we have lights on the back of this truck. I'm checking all my lights, reverse lights, reflectors, 
Right here we have the right and left turn signals operating. We have the four ways that operate back here. We have the brake lights and the tail lights. All these lights are making sure their property mounting is secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. And they are looking pretty good, okay? And you know what? That completes the section B on the truck, okay? So think about that. It's not a whole lot because now that mountain is getting small. I'm gonna just overview it. It's not a whole lot when you think about it because you started at the door and did your steps and your fuel tanks and their fuels and steps and catwalks and splash guards, okay? The tires are the same other than the depth and the spacing and the suspension. Airbags. We talked about the frame and the drive shaft and the universal join and we talked about the exhaust system and came back here and talked about the mud flap and the lights and section two is done. I think that mountain's getting a little smaller. What you think? We're going to continue with section three and we're going to knock out that coupling and we're going to knock out that trailer and we're going to do an end cab and guess what? you one step closer to getting that CDL because here we have no, what is it? Talk to me. I don't hear you. What? No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. We find solutions here. Let's go to section three.